So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolor cupcake. And the frosting on top does look a little bit complicated, but it's easily done using a technique that I think you'll love. So the watercolor effect that you see in this video is done using a paper texture and the brushes in the regular watercolor kit. And to start, I'm going to paint the actual paper cup first. So for that, I'm going to use the hard edge round and a pretty saturated khaki tone. And I'm going to carefully do a bunch of parallel lines like this. And it's okay if they slightly overlap. After that, I'm going to use the eraser brush set to the fine liner pen. And I'll use it to cut this into a sort of cupcake shaped rectangle. Next, I'm going to use the water blender brush at a pretty small size. And just carefully in here, I'll blend this a little bit but I'll leave a lot of hard edges behind. Now cupcakes are usually slightly tapered, so I'm gonna use the arrow tool set to warp to sort of get that effect. Now I want this to kind of have an ombre fade, so it starts very light and gets darker as it goes down, and that's easily done with the selection tool set to freehand. And I'll make a selection that covers half of the uh, paper cup. I'll feather it out quite a bit. Then I can go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I can brighten the top and then desaturate it to kind of balance it out. There we go. Now I want the uh, bottom here to be a little bit darker. So again, I'll make a selection there, feather it out. And this time I'll do the opposite. So I'll darken it and then saturate it. And then to finish up this part, I'm going to again use the uh, fine liner pen as an eraser and just trim and shape the edges. I'm also going to kind of scallop the top as well. Now the paper cup is all done and I can move on and actually paint the cake itself. So that's going to be on its own layer above the cup. And for the brush, I'm going to use the hard edge brush this time. And usually with baked goods, it's okay and, and I think looks really nice if you go very saturated. And I'm going to fill in a rough cupcake shape just by dabbing this brush around. And if you want to add some interesting texture, you could choose a darker version of that tone and then use the uh, mist brush and just tap that around just to add a kind of a speckly texture. I also want to do it again using a very light tone just to add more contrast there. And after I'm happy with the color and texture there, I can use the eraser brush, again set to the fine liner pen, and I'll just quickly cut this into a cupcake shape. Now, like I said before, I think it's very important that baked goods look pretty saturated. And this looks a little bit too gray in my opinion. So I'm gonna use the uh, hue, saturation, and brightness and kind of boost the saturation a little bit. And you can see it just instantly makes it look more appetizing. So now that the base of the cupcake is all finished, I can move on and paint the whipped frosting on top. And that's gonna be on its own layer. So I'll make a new layer above everything. And just for now, I'll turn off the other elements that we painted. For the brush, I think the sharp round brush is best. And I'm gonna do it with a kind of warm medium gray tone. And the first step is just to paint this really simple three-tiered shape. Next, I'm going to select a very, very light gray and a slightly smaller brush size. And I'm going to start by making a kind of an S shape that starts over here and then ends on the other side of that second tier. And I'll do it again, but this time it's going to go all the way to the top there. And next, I'm just going to go through this and do a bunch of kind of squiggles that give it a sort of a zebra stripe pattern. And it's pretty important that each of the stripes is kind of similar in width. So right here, you can see it's definitely that darker stripe there is too skinny. So I'm going to go over it again with a darker color and try to even it out. And there you can see it's not quite perfect, but it's definitely much more even. Next, I'm gonna to switch to the water blender. And at a pretty small size, maybe like 10 or 20%, I'm just gonna go in there and kind of blend this 
but in the direction of these stripes. And after that, I'm gonna grab the eraser brush, still set to the fine liner pen, and maybe around 10%, I'm gonna add some highlights. And the trick to the highlights is that they always occur on the top of the dark stripes. So for example, here's a dark stripe, and I can add a very skinny kind of line just above that. And if I added a line here, obviously that would be wrong. They need to be on top of the dark stripes. And if you want to, uh, while you still have the eraser selected here, you can kind of shape this a little bit better. And this next step is also optional, but you can use the eraser brush to carve a couple of scoops, just kind of between the layers like that. Now to fix the colors and make it actually white frosting, just go to the adjustments, go to the curves option, and just raise up this bottom node until it looks like a kind of white frosting color. There we go. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything else back on and kind of arrange this a little bit better. Now where the frosting overlaps on the cupcake, I need to kind of erase it back because you can see there's a little bit of transparency there. So I'll make sure the actual cupcake layer is selected. And again, I'll just use the eraser brush and just shape this a little bit better. I think it also looks good if I add a shadow. So the frosting here is casting a shadow onto the cake. So for that, I'll use the freehand selection tool and just make a selection that roughly covers it. Hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll just darken it a tiny, tiny bit. So this one turned out pretty good, but I think I wanna add some highlights to the uh, frosting so it pops out a little bit more. So to do that, I'm gonna make sure the frosting layer is selected. Then I can use the freehand selection tool again. And I'll just make a selection that covers all the areas that could use a highlight. Then I can feather them all out at the same time, just like that. And I'm gonna go to the curves adjustment again. And just like before, I'll raise that bottom node. And you can see I can brighten those areas. There we go, that looks pretty good. And it's a subtle thing, but I think it really does improve the kind of three-dimensionality of this. And there we go, this simple cupcake illustration is all done. And here's the final result. I did add a couple of sprinkles. I thought maybe some color would make this look a little bit more interesting. And to do those, I just use the fine liner pen. And that pretty much wraps it up. As always, if you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for all your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.